Hey guys, welcome to another important SpaceX update video. Although there is currently minimal activity at the Starbase launch site, the pad cleaning crew has already begun their work. In the coming days, teams will focus on cleaning up the debris on the launch pad before deciding what to do next with the damages sustained. Earlier today, two MOVAC trucks were spotted at the site, likely to remove water from the huge crater under the launch mount. A team of supervisors or engineers also arrived at the launch pad after a two-day closure period. Despite the heavy damage sustained by the concrete, most of the damage on the site should be manageable. However, Elon has estimated that it could take a couple of months to prepare for the next launch. According to Elon, SpaceX is considering installing water-cooled steel plates under the launch mount for the next attempt, but it remains to be seen if they will ultimately choose this option or a flame diverter. But these steel plates have already been spotted at Starbase. Currently, the team is likely still in the planning stages for what to do next. The OLM cover panels made of a chromium vanadium steel alloy did their job perfectly, protecting all the wiring and critical electrical components on the launch mount. It seems that the orbital launch mount is here to stay. While no crew members have been seen inspecting the tanks at the tank farm, it remains to be seen if the projectiles have caused damage to the walls of the inner tanks as well. For those new to Starbase, the dent visible on the outer cover of the propellant storage tanks does not necessarily indicate damage to the main tank inside. The repair, reconstruction, and even redesign works at the Starbase launch site will be a fascinating process to watch as SpaceX prepares for its next launch attempt. So, not to miss any development on this epic journey toward the first Starship orbital flight, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and wait for more updates in the next video.